guys, welcome to my channel. So, kapag bago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat mga videos tutorial ko. So, today I will be teaching you on how to define a set, on how to describe the set in three ways. So, before that, I'm going to show you. These are my watches. I love collecting watch. Okay, so, tinatawag natin dito na set of watch, right? Or set of watches. I have also a dangle, a bangle. What do you mean by this? What do you call this? Bangle. And this is a set of bangles. I love collecting it. So, and also, I have here the pin. I love collecting it. Based from the examples that I have shown to you, ano ang tinatawag natin na set? So, pag sinabi natin na set, guys, this is what we call the collection of objects. I love collecting these bangles. I love collecting watches. I love collecting the pins. So, if you are going to define a set, a set is a collection of an object. So, there are three ways in which we can describe a set. We have the roster notation or listing method. Ano po ba itong roster notation or listing method? You are going only to list down the sets. It means to say, if I will be giving you an example, kapag nag-name kayo ng set, you have to use the capital letter. So that's the reason why set A, set B, set C. So use the big letter. While the small letter... We are using that in an element. So, this is what we call set A, set B, and set C. And what do you call these objects inside the, this one, this symbol? These are what we call the elements. Okay, so now, three ways of describing a set. Number one is what we call roster notation or listing method. So, set A, we have one, two, three and four and then set b five ten fifteen twenty and so on so we call that and so on tatlong dot we call that ellipsis it means to say if you want to write another may kasunod pa wag kang gagamit ng maraming dot only three dots and we call that ellipsis pag sinabi natin ellipsis and so on may kasunod pa po and then Set C, we have Paranyake, Tagig, and Makati. So this, you are only listing an element sa set natin. But how about number two, the verbal description method? Based from your set A, set B, and set C in your listing method, you need to describe. The word description is what we call describe. The root word there is describe. So, it means to say, kung ano man po ang nakalagay dito sa set A, set B, and set C in your listing method, you are going to describe. Okay, so, let us describe the set A. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Anong tawag doon? So, when you are going to describe, you have to mention set A. Kung ano man po ang nilagay mong letter that represents the set, then set A is the set of counting numbers. It means to say, 1, 2, 3, and 4 is what we call the counting numbers. Or, another way of saying it. Ma'am, pwede po bang another way of saying it? You can also describe set A is the set of counting numbers less than 5. Less than 5 ba ang 4, 3, 2, 1? Then you can also Say it. So, if you want to complete your sentence, set A is the set of counting numbers less than 5. Or you can also say like that. Okay, how about set B? Set B, 5, 10, 15, and 20, and so on. It means to say, may kasunod pa. So, when you are going to describe it, set B is the set of positive numbers multiples of 5. Why multiples of 5? Because 5. What is the next number? 10. 
So, ang gap niya or ang kanyang difference is 5. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, 20 plus 5, and so on. Okay? Set C is the set of cities in Metro Manila. So, Paranaque, Taguig, Makati, these are the cities in Metro Manila. So, this is what we call verbal description method. Describe the set stated in number one, enlisting method. And number three is what do you call the set builder notation. The set builder notation, guys, is this method that lists the rule the object is an element of a set. It means to say, kung ano man po ang nakalagay na element dito sa set na ito, okay? That list, ibig, ibig sabihin, kung ano man po ang nakalagay na object dito sa set. So, we are going to use this. Okay, now, for number one, based from the roster notation or listing method, verbal description, then we are going to use the set builder notation. How are you going to read it? Set A, and then this symbol, X. This one is such that X is the set of counting numbers less than 5. Is it true that we have written here 1, 2, 3, 4? Are they the set of counting numbers less than 5? So, tama po, less than 5. How about B? X such that X is a positive numbers, multiples of 5. Are they multiples of 5? Are they positive? Then, tama po yun. Set C or C, X such that is the cities in Metro Manila. So, ito po yung mga cities of Metro Manila, Paranaque, Taguig, Makati. Marami naman po. Yan, na, pero I have given only three examples. So, guys, so uh, when we say a set is a collection of an object, and there are three ways of naming an object, and these are roster notation or listing method, verbal description method, and the set builder notation. I hope that you learned something today, and uh, see you guys on the next lesson. Have a great day, everyone!